Hey everyone, I'm the Big Shirt. welcome back to the kingdom. It's been a while since I recorded last. I've been busy. I'm pl we're planning a wedding. <laughs> we're getting married in October and uh, everything was gonna be, you know, with the invitations and all the planning and all that stuff, was gonna be handled from, let's say, mid-March. That was the plan. That was when we were supposed to start sending invitations and all that jazz, all that fun stuff. But, but guess what? Guess what happened? March uh, 13th, the country shut down, you know? Which kind of kind of made planning a bit more difficult than it usually would be. Not that it would be super easy, you know, in and of itself. It's just that with the virus, everything got a little bit more. Everything took more time to do. But we're here now. <laughs> we're here now. We we sent out invitations and all, all, all that good stuff. I think we have... Except for the payment. <laughs> except for the payment. Yeah, all right. And and the suit and the, and the dress. And the rings. We gotta get the rings. Cheese making. Fantastic. I'm gonna just... Probably gonna talk about the wedding for a little bit until I, I feel comfortable stopping. Or we're we just gonna stop. How about we just stop? There we go. We, 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 we can make cheese now. Everything is okay. Everything's going fine. We, we're almost done. And all the important stuff is done. We're gonna get married. It's gonna be great. Uh, for now, here though. Here though. We have mechs outside. We have a mech assembler. It's shut down. We have a mortar shield. And we, we want to... Hang on. We want to bait these guys in. We want them through here. We have a pasture here. It's fantastic. Uh, Ilya is about to break. Ilya is a, a person that absolutely does break often. But she should be better now. Have you not been treated? Hang on, hang on. Bed rest. It's at one. You're fine then, I guess. Alright. That's up to you. Need research project. How about we get condiments? Maybe we should have cocoa. Nah, let's do condiments. For chocolate syrup, we're probably gonna need cocoa. You're making uh, parkas. We're sewing, we're tilling. Oh yeah, I was gonna start recording. Sure, ensure safety. Just the, all right, some of them. Uh, yeah, I was gonna start recording. Not that you would know when I start recording, but I was gonna start recording about an hour ago at six, 6 p.m. But as I, boot up the game, I can hear them now. As I boot up the game, I hear noise outside. So I check my local news, and at 6 o'clock, a, a racist was gonna do a demonstration in what is literally a town square, where and I live. I live a minute, half a minute away from town square. Called town square. It's, it, that's literally its name. Or the market, I guess, is, is literally the name. The market. Yeah. And I just, all right, let's check it out. Oh, they got live footage of it. Cool, live footage. Okay, let me check that out. And I saw a lot of people there. There's just a bunch of people. Like a two, I think 300. Just a real, real rough guesstimate. 300 people, let's say that. I was wondering, wow, that's all oh, all right there on the other side of the the fences. Oh, there's there are two people that are demonstrating. There are literally two people there demonstrating. Two people. 300 against them. Later on, a third person came, came in. One person was talking, trying to talk. This is one of the least charismatic people I've heard. You, you have charismatic people 
saying really, really shitty things. You, you have those. They exist. <laughs> I forgot about this. That made me laugh. You have really charismatic and even likable people saying really shitty things. You, you can't judge them by what how they say things. You, you have to judge them by what they're saying. In this case, you could ju judge them by how said it and what he said. He, 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 he said nothing. I think, think he talked for 10 minutes and he said nothing. Just spoke. He, he, he did call the, the people that demonstrated against him uh, communists and Antifa here in Norway. We... Communists? Really? We have a border to Russia. We're not communists. We're, we, we are left-leaning. As a country, we are left-leaning. Yes, that's fine. But really, if, if all left-leaning people are communists and all right-leaning people are Nazis, and if we're gonna go into that discussion, then we're not gonna get anywhere. Everyone's awful then, just that's that's where you that's where you leave it. Do I have my cleaner here? Do we have a cleaner? Sam is weaving wool. I don't need you to weave any more wool. Something's happening. Quest available. Yeah, yeah. For Anne. No, that said A. Said 47 year old gatherer named Ilarion is calling from nearby. He says a pack of 25 man hunting Arctic wolves are hunting him. He begs for your safety and offers to join you at Black Fortress. We'll follow in one hour. Sure, accept them. And. Please, well, oh, you're, you're getting back home. 25 man hunting. Uh. Now, emergency, let's get them all in emergency area, thank you. Here we go, Ilarion follows in an hour. The wolves follow in an hour, there we go, hopefully you're useful, please be useful. Hey, you are a hard worker, you're bisexual, that doesn't really matter in a productive sense, but sure. And you're a jogger, you are, you are actually useful. That is good news. Eight cooking. Hmm. Growing, planting. Newton, let's let's take you off. We have four growers and planters. What do you do now, Newton? You cook. Alright. I'm fine with that. Who else? Who else can cook? I mean, Newton can cook. Four, four cooks is enough. I, I was looking at fishing. All right, Ilarion, schedule. You're also in emergency area. Let me remove this meditation, force meditation, no longer. And uh, we need a bedroom for you. Do we have a spare room? I don't think so, but getting you a bedroom shouldn't be the most difficult task in the world. Let me just handle this so I've done it. Limestone. That is fine. Uh, I don't really want to use... Let me use uh, sandstone for, for the bed instead. I know we were getting... We're getting attacked, so let me, let me just do a double bed. At the immediate... Immediacy. That is all we need at the moment. This should be good. You can't fight? That's fine. We have... We should have fighters. Yeah, the demonstrations. Peaceful enough. They threw eggs, which, you know, eggs, bread, and shrimp, apparently. They threw shrimp. Jesus Christ. 
Please don't attack the door. You saw no one. Okay, great. It would be fantastic if you attacked the uh, darkness. Oh, 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 animals. All of you emergency, don't go outside. Oh, we're fine. Do they attack? They do attack! That's what I was secretly hoping. <gasps> I think we did it. I think we cleared it out. Uh, hmm. Do I not have a... You, you should you should go inside Azura you're dead why are you hauling yeah they threw eggs can't abide by that honestly I didn't I didn't I can't say that I disliked seeing this racist uncharismatic that was the biggest problem I had with him uncharismatic. Uh, being cuddled with eggs. But, you know, we could do the same thing with just the bread. Honestly, if all they did was throw bread and shrimp, that would be much better. Can you... Can you not finish off? And I, I would be incredibly fine with it. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. Did you destroy anything? You destroyed. Ooh, you killed some pi a pikeman. There are only the the three centipedes left now. Oh Jesus! Who's this? Grizzly bear? Not cougar? Uh, cougar? Peanut? Uh, if they, all they did was throw, throw bread and shrimp, it would be hilarious, and I would support them 100%. Eggs, not so much. Uh, they threw, they destroyed some, shattered some windows. No one lived there, luckily. It's the cougar won easily. All right, lost there. Solar flare. Uh, ah. Right? Yeah, cool. Could have easily done it the same way. With uh, just the bread. Without shattering windows. And th then they started throwing at the... Uh... Hang on, let me check the news. This is literally right outside my door. Alright, that's nothing. Uh, yeah. Where was I? Not, not, not afraid of uh, bad stuff happening. Just uh, wary, <laughs> just in case. They started throwing shit at the police, and I watched it live. I didn't go outside. I, I was here, waiting for you. Hey. Um, yeah, they, they threw at the... It, it looked like someone was targeting the uh, the police after a while. Which was not good. That was bad. I didn't enjoy that at all. But he got hit. This is, this is a big difference in what you may have seen in the news from other Western countries. That shall... Other states that are united, but shall otherwise remain nameless. The police was hit by eggs. The raw eggs were being besieged. Raw eggs. And he got annoyed. <laughs> that was it. He, he didn't change his facial expression at all. He barely shifted his body weight from one foot to the other. He stood there. Tried to take the egg that was stuck in his, uh, his uh, uniform. And you saw him. Like, fuck, why are you throwing shit at me, motherfucker? That was it. That was the extent of his aggression. We're being besieged. Lucy 
is the great grandmother, m mother, <laughs> mother of Patty. Where is Lucy? Hi, Lucy Charles. What's with all the the man haters? And that was it. Then they started throwing shit at the police, even more stuff. They picked up some chairs and tables and stuff around and threw it at the police and the police car. And all the police did was barricade uh, uh, side streets so that the racist motherfucker could, could leave. Then the police did nothing wrong. <laughs> they called the cops racist. And possibly some of them maybe were racist. This is also just great news for me. And I, I, I don't, I'm not saying that none of the police are racist. Uh, send away. Count 2 has given birth. Explosions are great. Oh, hello! Yeah, and the police, they just stood there. They took it, probably really annoyed, probably thinking about prosecuting uh, some of the people. They, they're on camera. They're on several cameras. The police saw them, looked them in the eye. So, you know, if, if they do nothing about the people that threw eggs at the racist, okay. If they do think about, you know, writing a ticket or something, I wouldn't be super against it, but I don't think they will. He, he wanted this. He wanted this reaction. He, he brought with him a giant Norwegian flag. Uh, which he hung up. And he stood next to it. People started throwing eggs. And he, he just looked at the flag and said, Oh, people are throwing eggs. Getting dangerously close to hitting the flag. And then he walked from where it was. Which was fairly far to the side of the flag. Walked over. Passed it. And stood in front of the fucking flag. And baited them. And just saying, oh, it's a shame that they're throwing eggs at the flag, at the Norwegian flag. Look at them. Shameful. I, I mean, if they can, if they even have the strength to throw this far. What the fuck is that? You can't have it both ways, you idiot. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta make our throne room much better. We gotta make our bedroom much better. Oh, Jesus. Trade with orbital traders. Is that just something you have? Call Cataphract Squad. Undignified throne room. Need a grand meditation throne. Do we have eggs? Do we have eggs? Apparently I have something to throw it at. So yeah. If you're racist, you, you kind of have to. He, he, he wanted this reaction. He got the reaction he wanted. Which is kind of sad, but also... <laughs> the reaction he wanted was people not liking what he was saying. And he got that reaction. Good for him. Okay, let's, let's see his last centipede. These are, this is just quite a lot of people. Let me... Bonnie. Bonstifer. Man the catapult. You have you have ammunition here. Not on fire. You're way... You're much better at shooting when I'm the target. Yeah, this is good. This is good. How many have you killed? You killed. There were 17 before. 14 now. A donkey's pregnant. Ah, oh, fuck. Rada. Call Cat of. Uh, get over here. I've, yes, allowed you to walk other places. This is cover, right? 75% cover. Alright. I'm down with that. 
Uh, what if I call them over here? Can I? Then you get that. Resolving colony, Isco. You're fleeing! Oh, cataphracts. That is some armor. Holy cataphract. This was a very productive episode, and I managed to... Simple stew as right as... No one wanted a simple stew. And I managed to... Uh, vent a little bit about the... The events that was going on outdoors. Great. <laughs> Did any of the you lost no one? Oh, that's also fantastic. Beautiful. I have a mod that I should uh, that I should uh, open up. Open up. Install. Unrestricted again. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And you guys at grazing area. Da -da -da -da. And we even have, we don't have the bedroom for Ilarion yet. I mean, it's quite large. You can't can't deny that. Well, now now it's smaller. Digital paving, paving, or oh, slate, correct? Yes. Was you exploding? Uh, 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 let me see. Someone in a good mood. You are in quite a good mood. Haul this. We'll never do hauling. Of course you won't. Ilya, no. You you are not allowed down there. Dude. Sam. Kagura. Sure. Yeah. Samuel. All right. All right. We got a giant hauling job next episode, but we we I mean the mech cluster. We didn't do it though. But the, there, you go, there we go. Defeat a mech cluster. Mech cluster defeated. Uh, Arctic wolves defeated. Siege defeated. It's a great ass episode. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, update about your local news here in Trondheim. It is what it is. Things went well. I looked outside my window. No one's even throwing any trash here. We're all good. I'm good. You're good. We're all good. Thanks so much for watching on The Biggest Journal. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.